so there that air can't get in. And it's the blue McGraw yep. Royal Blood. The Royal Blood. The little ones coming out. Disclaimer, when I do stuff, I make dumb faces. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> so first you loosen up the clamp. So you can get the lever level. So what we're doing is fixing a big old bubble I have in my rear brake. I crashed yesterday. Perfect. My brake was running fine, and then after the crash, I had nothing. So I was dealing with it all this morning, tilting it up, bouncing it, trying to get the bubble out, but it wouldn't work. So now we're uh, using Kyle's special tricks. Unscrew the bleed port, shove the Magura syringe in with the plunger taken out. Shove it in. It's the way they like it. it. You don't want to thread anything into those because those threads are just plastic. And then you just need a tiny bit of oil so there that air can't get in. And it's the blue Magura yep. Royal Blood. The Royal Blood. And right now we have it on the bike stand, but we'll be pulling it out of the bike stand and messing with it, trying to... There's already bubbles coming out. A little bit. Yeah. So I'm going to tilt it... Uh, so that the reservoir, so that the cable is below the bleed port and see if we can get anything out of it. But really what I need to do is tilt it the other way. So the res so the bladder is on the other side. So now I'm gonna tilt it this way. Take a look and see if we get any bubbles this way. Yep, bubble, bubble, there bubble. We just saw it, yep, there we go. Four, five, yeah, ton of, ton of bubbles. Ton of bubbles. So those are all coming out of the, uh, the bladder where the extra oil sits. Yep. Yeah, you can the see them popping oil. out right there. Oh, there's a ton, dude. The extra oil sits in there. Uh, now we're just getting little ones coming out. And uh, just for reference, these are Magura MT7s. Probably didn't mention that at the beginning. Uh, just tiny, tiny, tiny little ones right now at this point. Yeah, and, and the color, you can see the color of the fluid has changed big time way lighter now than it was when he dumped it in. It's like way darker. Okay, so now I'm fairly comfortable that I've got it all out of the uh, out of the bladder. Pull the scorpion stand away because we don't need it anymore. You turn the handlebar so that anything in here is coming. Turn the bike and the handlebar so that any air is going to rise up out of there. Yeah. And you can turn the bar around this way and that just to make sure you got oil out of any little corner of anything. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is tilt this guy back down. Just small bubbles at this point. But I'm going uh, to lift the bike back this way and see if there's any air in the line that's going to come up to the top. You can also loosen the shifter so you can keep this whole system level. Uh, make sure that that oil level is always above the hole so that no air can get back down in the hole. So if you look at the back uh, hydraulic line, I'm going to keep tilting the bike back until the brake is the lowest point. And then Casey, if you can take something like my tool over there and then tap the rotor, uh, tap the uh, caliper, I mean, you'll get any air out of the caliper. Just give it a gentle tap. But your lever is feeling really firm, so I don't think there's any air down there. The problem was mostly air up here. 
Yeah, I haven't gotten bubbles in some time. Yeah. So we're, we're pretty much we're pretty much done. There the other. Yep. It just all hits at once. And look at the lever. Bam. Yeah. The engage is like snappy. That definitely wasn't like that yesterday yeah. after the crash. You got that tool? So the last thing we need to do with the lever level is to make sure we get this in without introducing any air. So you hold that for me. Usually I set it on the bench just like that. But I'm going to pull this out and put my finger over the end. Like that. And there's a little bit of oil there. And as I put this in, it's going to displace some of that oil and it's going to run down, which is normal. That way you know no air got in there. Mm, yep. And these just go snug. Snug, yeah. Never over Don't strip those. Because those are those are plastic, so. Yeah, plastic threads on both ends. And then this oil is so gross, I'm going to throw it away. Yeah. If it's not gross, sometimes I'll keep it for another bubble bleed. That's wiped down. Bingo. We'll re we'll put the brake back in the right position, tighten it up, and we're good to go. Oh jeez. Way better way, 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 way better. It engages like right away, right? Yeah. Yep. Good deal. Good deal. go. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah, dog. I, don't know. I think mineral oil is a little less gnarly. No, it's going to be this this one. Oh, that one? Yeah, rear. Don't want, you, don't want me to bleed the wrong brake. Yeah. All right.